<laughs> Sarah Hale Merriam is here uh, from uh, the project uh, Vote Again 210. And joining in the questioning here, Kaylee Hartung, our own Kaylee Hartung, who's been doing a lot of work on the on the uh, youth vote this year. Kaylee, start us off here. Okay, Sarah, I want to ask you, I know Rock the Vote came out with a poll saying 77% of young people are planning to vote in the next election. What sort of challenges do you guys foresee with that? So Vote Again 2010 is a coalition of 30, over 30 youth organizations and media partners striving to increase youth turnout this fall. And we're operating under that assumption prior to the poll being released. We knew that young people do want to vote again in the midterm elections. Young people care about the issues, and yet our greatest challenge is drawing a correlation between the issues that they care about and the midterm elections. The Rock the Vote poll makes me incredibly optimistic that we'll be able to turn well, out have you, voters. Well, have you got anybody to vote in the primary, or young people turn out for the primary because traditionally they don't? Yeah. The primary turnout, uh, turnout rates were definitely disappointing. Um, fundamentally, though, it's also not just something that youth organizations should be working on, but that candidates should be working on. Candidates aren't appealing directly to young voters, and it shows on primary day when they don't turn out. And so we're hoping through this campaign, focus on the general election, that we'll be able to inspire candidates to really reach out to our generation moving forward. Mm -hmm. And part of this campaign is a viral video contest, right? Okay. What sort of submissions have you seen? Anything promising that you think will really get young people engaged? Yeah, we've seen quite a few submissions. A lot of them are just young people straight to camera explaining why they're voting again in 2010. And that's what the contest asks of them, either to discuss why you're voting again in 2010 or why young people should vote again in 2010. And so in addition to their submissions, we've also been um, creating submissions of our own to try and inspire people. We released one today that features Van Jones um, kind of giving us a rundown of what's occurred in terms of progress on, on clean energy and green jobs since the last election. Cycle. Is that what we're looking at here? Yes, this is the promo video. These are all, I didn't know them either initially, so it's okay if you don't. They're all YouTube celebrities, um, and they're in encouraging young people to enter the contest. There's a $5,000 grand prize, um, and they have until October 19th to submit their videos. And one video submission that you guys got was from, I, I don't know what the organization was, but it focused on Bieber fever yeah. and really uh, utilizing his celebrity online to engage young voters. But there was a little bit of a strange reaction to it, right? Mm -hmm. So I actually, I work for Campus Progress and I'm responsible for the sudden wave of Bieber fever. Myself and Tara Cutts, who is our <laughs> incredible video intern, um, came up with and executed this concept. and. The video is satirical, uh, uh, but unfortunately, a great part of the blogosphere, and even Jay Leno, he mentioned on his show, took it literally. They really think that we're asking young people to vote for a 16-year-old Canadian. What the video <laughs> is actually <laughs> striving to do is to inject young people into the conversation around the midterm elections. The, it's uh, satirical in nature, but at the same time, the underlying point is incredibly important. Young people need to vote in the midterm elections, and we have an obligation to encourage each other to do so. All right. Well, thank you very much, Sarah. We appreciate it, and good luck on that. Thank and, you, so you know, much. maybe the guy will get a few votes. Maybe. I mean, you know. <laughs> well, or you should vote for Bieberbach. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome.